Let's look at a study which has thrown some more light on testing for sperm DNA fragmentation. This research investigated whether sperm DNA fragmentation, a marker of DNA damage in sperm called DFI, truly predicts embryo quality and success in assisted conception cycles. That's IVF and ICSI. The study analyzed 913 couples encompassing around 1,800 IVF or ICSI cycles, focusing on couples where female factors were carefully controlled for age and fertility measures. Researchers measured sperm DNA fragmentation index using laboratory tests that highlights DNA damage and then matched them with records of embryo development. The major findings was that sperm DNA fragmentation index does not predict embryo quality in either IVF or ICSI cycles. It was looked just as good under the microscope whether sperm DNA was badly damaged or not. However, sperm DNA fragmentation index did have a negative impact on fertilization. The higher the DNA fragmentation index, the less likely the sperm was to successfully fertilize the eggs. They tested whether a certain DNA threshold of sperm was could predict success and found out that 21% was the best cutoff for identifiable strong fertilization odds. But again, this was a weak indicator, less than 40% of failed fertilization and successfully ruling out poor outcomes in less than 30% of cases. What's more important, female age and factors such as age and egg supply were much stronger predictors of embryo quality and outcomes rather than male factor include DNA fragmentation. Now, where would DNA fragmentation work? And I think here it said older men, those with low sperm motility or morphology, but I think equally in cases in which there's been unexplained poor embryo quality in my practice, I would suggest doing sperm DNA fragmentation because it's just giving another additional Ideally, we think we require much better data on looking at how sperm DNA fragmentation may be useful, especially for getting better quality of embryos.